So, <laughs> we're back, I think. We'll see if this is working. All right, everyone. I think we're back now. So, just gonna wait a moment or two until we'll get back on to here. I'll move this a little bit so you can see me. Hello. So it looked like my connection dropped and so it stopped working, which is so much fun. So hopefully you guys will find me back here. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, while we'll take this, yeah, I know, <laughs> now all the messages are coming in. Sorry guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to, I'm just gonna try to link this for everyone else. Bear with me while we get this going. Isn't technology so fun? Connects us all and then like it drops and it's like, oh, why, why are you doing this to me? Okay, so I'm gonna just go share. Um, copy. Okay, I'm just going to copy the link. I'm going to go back to where we were, and then I'm going to make sure anyone who was with me has the link for it. Okay. Okay, kicked me off. Okay. So I put the link in the original we were just watching before. So hopefully anyone who's still there or who gets that first can find us here. So I'm just going to give it, oh, great. So 14 of you guys back. Amazing. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. My internet likes to mess with me in the middle of my lives. <laughs> yeah, it drives me insane. I'm so sorry. Okay, cool. All right. Let's get repositioned and we will continue. Okay. Great. Oh, that's dropping down again. Am I lost connection again? No, I'm good. Okay. All right. So. Now back into my <laughs> frame of mind. What were we doing? Oh yes, we were doing lots of little uh, background trees and shrubs and things with our fine tip brush. So I want my um, barn to kind of live about here or so. And then there's like a little tree bushy thing that lives right beside it. So I'm just gonna pop that guy in. Okay, perfect. All right, cool. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so we have some of the little shrubby tree bush things going on. I think I'm going to just add a few little like, almost like more in the background, but we can't really like see them. I just wanted to have a few more little ones, little guys in the background here. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with those. All right, so I want to put in my barn in the background here. So I'm going to still use my fine point brush. Okay, and I do want my, my barn to be red, so I'm going to get my red. And I'm just going to use my fine tip brush to kind of plot in where I want it to go. So really this main part here is like a very long rectangle. So the height of it compared to my very tall bush thing is about the same height. So it's going to come up to about here. Just 
a little bit higher than that guy. I'm going to bring it across until about, where's that tree going to be? That tree's going to be kind of here, I suppose. So we want to bring it behind wherever that tree is going to live. I'm just going to bring this across. Until about there, I guess. And then I'm going to bring the top part. across as well. Okay, I'm just going to fill it in with the red for now and then we'll add in some shadows and whatnot in a little bit. But right now I just want to get all the red in. My red's pretty thin as well so I might want to do a second coat or I'm going to end this barn. So I'm going to use a little bit of my black, just because I want to make it a little darker at the base and also at the top here because that roof is going to land and also the front of it. So I'm just going to put a little bit, throw a little bit of that in. This looks a little streaky. I think it looks a little bit dark, just kind of in the middle there as well. Okay, cool. I'm going to get more red now. Okay, cool. I'll bring that up a little bit closer so you can see my red rectangle. There we go. Okay, and then I want to put my roof on there. My roof almost matches the color of the sky almost, like it has such a similar vibe to it. Um, but I do want it to be a bit more gray on the gray side. Okay, so I'm going to put I'm going to have black, I put a little bit of blue in my black, so I want it to be like a blue-gray almost. So I'm going to start with like this kind of color and then I'll change it up as we go. Okay, so again I'm going to just go along the top, a straight line-ish there. And then it's going to come back. And then it's going to come across. And this is darker than we want it to be, but then we can add a little bit in it to make it lighter. There's the roof there. Okay, I'm gonna grab white. So I might as well do it too much. I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna put some white on this side. I want it to be lighter. Like that. We have a little bit there. And I'm going to get some black, and I want it to be a very thin line at the top. It's like outlining it slightly, 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 very thinly. And also a black thin line where the roof and the barn meet. Okay, and then we have these little like knobby things on the top. I'm just going to pop 
then three little like that. And this should be a little darker too, so I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit on the side. I think that's good. Just got my barn, my little farm in the distance there. Okay, so now that that guy is built, let me just see. One second. Perfect. Hi, Trish. Hi, Susan. All from Australia. Very nice. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for saying hi and tuning in. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna be putting in this tree here because it's in it's the next thing. So it's in front of the barn, but it's the furthest in the background. So I'm gonna put that guy in. And that guy could be black, but I, but I kinda do want it to be more of a darker green. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So which brush am I gonna use? Uh, am I gonna go with my small? I will go with my smallest for now, I think. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm just gonna add like a dot of black in it and see. Black is very, very powerful, so I only wanna add a little bit. Otherwise it just becomes black. I might have done okay that's fine we'll go with that and then we'll go from there okay so this tree so I like to start off by just kind of putting like a center line of where my tree positioned essentially and this guy has a nice like really nice shape to it so I think I'm just gonna start by putting like a little little lines, more specific at the top. Okay, and then as we go down, we're gonna make him a little bit, a little bit chubbier as we go. I still want some of these lines to come out. I'm just gonna kind of put these little lines in first, I think. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of it. So that kind of helps me eyeball what I want to keep. Okay, so then there'll be somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to go back and get some more paint. All in here is very dense. Okay, and then There we go. Oh my gosh. Of course. <laughs> Today's that kind of day. Nope. Come. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Okay. So I'm going to do a similar type thing on this side because I want it to still. able to see the sky behind the branches. So 
I'm just kind of doing like little crisscrossies, but not in any particular fashion. Okay, so that's that tree there, and I'll show it up a little bit closer. Okay, so that's where that guy lives. And he's a little bright still, so I am going to get black on my brush. And I'm just going to go over some, like, I'm just going to go over, like, the middle area and just add a little bit more darkness to the middle. Not to the tips. I want to keep those light. I'm just going in like little, little strokies and because it's wet I have to keep going back and getting more black paint. Okay, okay and then I'm just going to go back with my green and I'm just going to go on top of some of that black I just did just to soften it a little bit. Show that. Now just a little bit more dark and a little bit light. I might have to touch up a little bit more on the sides. Maybe go in a little bit more. I don't want it to have like a straight line down. That looks weird. Okay, there we go. That's being a little precise, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, and so what else do we have going on here? So you have another like nice fluffy tree here, and then we have a bigger lighter green bush here and then we have a lot of like little shrubs coming up front there that's a lot of work there. okay so let's play a bit with the big tree on the side so i'm going to get my medium sized brush i'm going to try to be a bit more free flowy with it i also want it to be like a, a dark green okay and this guy is going to come it's going to start dabbing and it's going to Come on this side here. I'm just going to start to put in some of that tree that's living there. Some greenery sticking out from the side. Okay. And then we have some another one that's kind of like it looks like a tree is living here. Dab away. And I don't want to touch that tree too much, the one I just made. I'm just going to put in some more of this green kind of dabs happening. I think that's all right. And then I'm going to go in with my thinner brush and just put in like a few little lines for the branches and whatnot. But I'm going to use the black for that part, I think. I'm just going to go in and just go like, put like a few little lines. So I'm like coming up from here. And then, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over a, the lines a little bit just to mess them up a bit. Because right now they're just too perfect. So I'm just going to go and like dab a little bit more of this green in. Just to make them look a little bit messy. There. Just so it's not like perfect lines, you know? That's what it looks like right now. And then we have a lighter green happening. 
nice tree bush thing happening in this area. So I'm going to get a lighter green happening. So yellow, get my blue going. green happening first and then okay let's try that and see how it goes okay and this is pretty puffy too I would say so I'm just going to use my brush and just start to follow kind of the shape that I can see that's living on our inspiration image This one is going to go over that guy. Okay, so I'm just going to put this all the way down. We'll just attach it to the bottom. Why not? It's almost the same color. Okay, so now we have a little bit more greenery happening in front of the last one. Okay, and then we see some nice shadows in some spots. So I'm going to go with black. And I'm just going to add some black spots into this shrub shrubbery. And then go back to my green and just soften it a bit. Okay. Add a little bit of yellow, I think, to some edges of it. soften it again. Okay. So that's what that looks like now. So it just has like some different values going on. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do much more over there. Okay. So what else do we got going now? Okay. Let me see if anyone needs anything. Quite good. So far the connection's been stable, so that's good. Okay, dokes. So what is next? I think I want to put in some of the these shrubs that are living on the side here before I get into this whole uh, field. Since I'm already in my greens. So I'm going to go back to my thinner brush, I think, is the one I'm going to go with. And I'm going to drop my paintbrush in my paint. That's always a good thing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, um, now, these are nice little, almost like triangular shapes. They're smaller in the back and they get bigger as you go forward. They kind of only live in this like one area and there's quite a few in this one little spot. So, and they're quite bright. So compared to this background color, it's quite bright, but then there is some darkness that's happening here. So it's going to be a few little things that we're going to be doing. Okay. So I think I want to start with a bright green to go further back. So I'm going to just start maybe halfway, maybe there. And I'm just going to kind of look a little like triangular kind of shape. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of black just to separate some of the little leaves that are there. Okay, I'm going to go beside it and we're going to do another one. I feel like this needs to be a little lighter. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. I'm going to touch a little bit of yellow in it. We'll see how these go. I'm not so sure. I could blend in so much to my background. I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to jump a little bit from my form and I'm going to just put in the front one, I think, because I don't really, I'm not really digging it. I'm going to go with black. I'm just going to put in this front. 
front bush tree. Yeah, I'm doing it a little bit backwards, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put in some lighter. I'm looking to, it's actually a little bit darker behind here. So I'm just going a little bit crazy right now. I'm putting a little bit more black behind where I want these trees to live, just so they can actually be seen when I pop them on top of it. That's what I'm doing. Going crazy. Okay. Let's go back and grab some green now. Okay, so now I'm going to pop some of these. You can actually see them a little bit better. I'm just gonna get some black, so I need to take up some, make these a little bit darker on the other side. There's a little bit of darkness on the ground there in front. Okay. Putting a little bit of yellow on top as well. I just put a little bit just so we have the, the feeling of those trees living here. And it is kind of like yellowy green grass. So I'm just going to start to play a little bit with the grass that's living on the side. So it has the vibe of it. It's not looking the same, but that's all right. Okay, and then I want to go in and just put some green. It's actually a little bit darker than that, so it's going to be a bit darker. I'm just kind of going back and forth a bit with my brush just to kind of make it feel like there's like some texture happening on this side. You already have that other green behind it, so. Okay, so we have that feeling happening there. Okay, so I think it's time we need to put a nice base so we can have our fields happening here. So I'm going to do a base of pretty much brown for like the dirt and then we can play with it. And when we put that on, I want to be cognizant of keeping this vibe of like, so the perspective kind of starts from here and then everything kind of emanates from that point. Um, so if you need to mix your own brown, you want to put equal parts of red, blue, and yellow together and you can get a brown that way. Or if you have a pre-mixed brown, then you can go ahead and use that. I'm going to be doing that just for brevity, but I might still mix some of my own as well. Um, the brown that I'm using is called cinnamon brown. It's, again, not specifically. It's just the one I have on hand that's pre-mixed. I'm just going to be using that one, and then I'll, I'll change it up as needed. So this, that's the kind of way that one looks, that's cinnamon brown. And that's from the Crafters Acrylic. But again, I didn't pick that specifically for this. It was just like that's the pre-mixed one I have. Okay, so I think I want to use my medium brush for this part. And I know there's a lot of green going on. I'm worried of putting so much brown, but we're just going to, I think I'm going to start in the middle and then I'll move my way back. So for now, I'm just going to get this going. Got to get paint on the canvas. So I want to start plopping in. So I'm looking at this line here, for example. So I want to just put that in first where I want that 
to live. So I'm just kind of putting like a straight line down almost because that line is almost like a straight line and then it comes out. Okay, and right now I just want to cover the canvas with the paint. But I do want to keep this kind of, I don't, don't make your strokes go back and forth. I would say I would say try to have them come towards you on the page. Okay, and then similarly there's another one right beside it. little bit darker. I just put a little bit of black just to differentiate it slightly. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about where the green is because the greens will pop on top of it afterwards. So right now we're just getting the soil ready. much wider. I'm just trying to keep slight different colors just to get the vibe of like this perspective happening. Okay, so that's that one. So I have another one that kind of comes out this way. So it's like thin at the top and then just widens. Sheet each line. Okay. It's going to come up that way. I need more brown. <laughs> The idea here is just to get it covered so we have a base so that when we play with the textures and put more on then it will show up nicely and if we're putting in some of the lines that are in it will give us a guide to go off of okay and then we have more coming back here It always gets wider at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just putting in a bit of a differentiator and then bring that line out. And then now it gets, there's a lot of like thin lines. So I'm just going to put 
brown back here. Again, similarly, like stroking it the way we did it before. So we have all the lines. get the canvas covered. Okay, so now I already have like a perspective going, which is cool. So it already has like the, the idea of it, and then we can play a little more on top of that. So there's a lot of more green happening back here, which is not like a solid like line from the green to the brown. So I think I'm going to start on that area and move from there. Okay. So just need to make some more green. Should I just use my pre-mixed ones? <laughs> okay. Sometimes I'm stubborn like that. Okay, so we'll just some green happening so back here it's like there's like some grass and then it turns into a field so I'm just going to reestablish some of this green that we had it's actually quite dark over here too eh? it's kind of neat okay Let's get some green into the dirt a bit a bit before we start putting in all the specifics. Okay. And it's a little darker in this area, so I think I do want to capture that. And it's darker here, so I'm just going to get a little bit of black. I'm just going to A little darker right in this area. Yeah, well, that's good. Okay, that's good. Now there's some darkness over here, too, actually, so I'm going to just pop that in. All right, okay, I'm good with that. Okay, so now I wanna play a little bit with the ground and get that looking really cool. Um, and the way we're gonna do that is, where should we start? Let's see, I like how the perspective already looks kinda cool. I think this looks really neat because there's a lot of like swoopy coming this way and then there's swooping coming this way. So I like how my eye is moving around the painting. I think that's really cool. Okay. Um, Hmm. I think what makes the most sense is to start making some of the lines in the dirt to kind of give it a little bit more oomph. I just don't know how much of it I really want to do or if I want it to be again more of like an impression of it versus specific detail of it. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I think I'm going to start putting in a little bit of the... I wonder if I'm going to use my medium brush. Let's see. Okay. Let's get a little bit of, I'm going to get like a more of a darker brown, almost a black. Okay. And I want to start putting in some of the, the lines that we see. So like, for example, like I put in that nice line here, I'm going to just almost like with the texture of my brush, just like follow it and just make a more of a textured line with it as I come down. That's the line where all of my little plants are going to come out of. And then I'm just going to squish it a bit more as it comes closer to the front because you're going to be able to see the, the dirt a bit more there. Okay. Uh, I don't want it black. I want it really dark brown. Okay. And there's almost like another one almost beside it. So I kind of want to see. Let's see how that looks. 
see some more in the back, but we're not going to put them all the way up. Kind of curved up a little bit too much there, but that's okay. little lines to kind of feel like that's where things are growing like messy lines because it's dirt it shouldn't be perfect so it works out nicely I need a bit more paint on my brush. Okay. So just here and then we have another one comes there, okay. just following some of these lines downwards. I'm just squishing my brush more as it gets closer to the front because we'll be able to see them a bit more. I think I might put a little bit more dirt vibes in some of these areas where it's closer just to give it some more texture, make it feel a little dirtier and bumpier instead of all the smooth paint that I did before. Again, have fun with it. Don't overthink it. Just play with it. And like closer, we'll have more heavier feeling of it. And farther away, it like dissipates. We can hardly even see it when it gets close to where the farm is. Okay. So that's what I got so far. Okay. 
And then when you put in all of the little greenery, that's going to take some time, but it's going to make everything pop really nicely. So I'm going to switch back to my thinner brush. And I think everything's, I put a very thin coat, so I think we're good to go there. Let me see how one's doing. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So let's get some nice, bright, nice, bright, fresh green happening. Okay. And I'm going to start maybe with one of them on the front and then just play back with it. So. As they go back, they get smaller and smaller. Back here, they're just like little, the green little, just gonna put like little, little lines. So as it gets closer, we can see it more, and it goes off the page because we can't. There you go. All right, so that looks good. Okay, so again, we'll start far away, and then we just do like little, little baby lines, little kisses all the way back there. Following that line coming down, and as it comes a little bit closer, we're going to start to see them a little bit easier. Okay, we'll put one more at the front so you can kind of see where how big we want this to go. So. Okay, and same process, so we'll start back here, 
we just look like little lines. Follow which line are we following this time? Probably that one there, I think. Yes. This line here, and stop. And we just keep going, so let's put another little line. Okay, and then a little more parse, so. Okay. Kind of just dissipates because there's that darker area right there, so I'm not going to worry about that too much over there. And then I think we're just going to keep putting in some little... Space them out and just a few. Just plant it all along. Come back here. Same thing. I'm just keep I'm making them like smaller and like more indistinct the further back I go. With like little dots at that point. Okay, so I think I'm good with that for now. And I want to move back up to my front area here. So this row here, it's more they're all kind of coming on both sides. We're just seeing it kind of like down the middle. Okay, for back here, it's kind of just like.
so that comes out like that. Okay, and we'll do another one here. So again, like little lines. Just kind of does look like little dots almost the whole way down. So I'll probably continue it like that as I go. Then another one coming along this way. I'm just doing like little touches with the end of my brush. Because again, these don't have as many, or maybe they're not as, right? Maybe it's a totally different. Thing that's planted, I have no idea. Alright, so now you may want to touch up some of them if you want to just add a little bit, make them a bit more impactful because some of mine I find aren't very, are, are kind of more see-through almost, so I'm just going to go over some of them just to make them a little bit more opaque and you might want to put in like a little bit of like a highlight, like you want to put a little bit of yellow in it or a little bit of a darker green just to make them stand out even more. If you want to, not necessary. Okay. I also noticed there are some that are kind of like sprouting randomly. Like there's like a few little random sprouts that are just kind of coming up like here. And then I see a few more like here. Okay, and then what I want to do too is I'm just going to some of the bottoms of them, like they kind of look strange because I after putting the paint on, I'm just gonna mess it up a little bit with brown and black. So some of them need to be a little bit more. Okay. I'm just add a little bit of yellow to some of these just to make them
I think that's good. I think I think I feel pretty good with that. All right. <laughs> nice. Hi, Victoria. Thanks for tuning in. How is everyone doing? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that, Heather. I appreciate that. I love that you cheated with an easier crop and you're done. <laughs> That's awesome, Andrea. I can't wait to see it. You'll have to share. Are you working on your mom-in-laws with your go-to paints? Oh, they're half dried up. You know what, Heather? Sometimes that makes it like an interesting challenge to see what you can create when you have like a supply that's a little bit uh, dried or not working the way you need it to. I, I'm definitely down for that type of challenge. So that's really cool. I'm glad that you're doing that. All right, so I think I'm gonna call it complete for tonight. So here's my version of Spring on the Farm. So I hope everyone enjoyed that. So please, um, like I mentioned, if you've joined on along with me, please uh, snap a picture of it and share it below with the community. Everyone enjoys liking to see what everyone else has done. So definitely do that. Um, and again, uh, we'll have another free painting party for you next Wednesday. Um, and um, the uh, April calendar will be up at the end of March as well. So you'll be able to see what we're going to be doing in April. Um, and that's about it. So thanks so much, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night. Take care. Bye.